Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Good morning. We have our coffee and we are going to look at the Golden Globe nominations. Ooh. We're so excited. We will be doing a live stream during the Golden Globe. So this is a little uh, prep for that. And we're really excited to see who's nominated. So, so pumped. yeah, let's get it started. Yes. So let's let's get going here. Let's see here. Begins with people, their coverage. <laughs> Yes, so we can scroll down here. So do you want to take the first uh, sure. category? We have for uh, best picture drama in the movie category, Anatomy of a Fall. Yay! My personal favorite. <laughs> Killers of a Flower Moon. Very nice. Maestro, Oppenheimer, Past Lives, and The Zone of Interest. Yes, well, your favorite and my favorite are on there, so that's fantastic. That's all that matters. Nothing really surprising, I would say, with that. The popular ones. Yeah, so I'll read the next one. Best Picture, Musical, or Comedy. We have Air, American Fiction, nice, uh, Barbie, The Holdovers, May, December, and Poor Things. Um, not bad. I'm not really surprised at <laughs> any of these 10. I'm glad Air or, made guess, it in there. I guess there's a lot more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six and one, two, three, four, five, six. So 12. Yeah, I'm not surprised at any of these 12. Um, yeah, that pretty much covers it with that dozen titles. Mm-hmm. Cool. Very cool. Oh, uh, yeah, because yeah. we're not missing anything, right? I don't think so. Mm, there might be one that's like, oh, wait, why was yeah. that included? Hmm. Well, Do a little research after. But... Yes. <laughs> Best yeah. actress drama. You want to take it? Yeah, we have Annette Benning and Nyad. Lily Gladstone for Killers of the Flower Moon. Sandra Hula from Anatomy of a Fall. Greta Lee yes. for Past I'm Lives. excited about that one. Carrie Mulligan, Maestro. I love her. Kaylee Spaney, oh, nice. I didn't know she would be nominated. She was good in that. She was. Yeah, um, transformed herself. The, yeah, I'm not. I, and everyone says the net ending's really good in Nyad. We have not seen Nyad. Mom um, did. Oh yeah, you said your mom loved it, right? So, yeah, I feel like she's just trying to fit it in in her lengthy career. Oh, she's never won, I think, right? Yeah, because um, Hillary Swank always takes <laughs> right. takes it each time when they're nominated together. And Michelle Pfeiffer had to take Catwoman from Annette Benning in 92. <laughs> okay, next next category. Best Actress in a Musical or Comedy. Fantasia Barino, The Color Purple. I'm not surprised. Right. Jennifer Lawrence, No Hard Feelings. Cool. We still have to see that. We're wow. going to watch that soon because I think like with all the Oscar That's films, that. we're going to want something a little bit light during the Christmas holiday. Oh, yeah. We need a straight comedy. So that'll be that'll be fun. Um, Natalie Portman, May, December. I'm mm -hmm. not surprised with that. Uh, Alma, Alma Poitsy, Fallen Leaves. I keep hearing about this movie. It's foreign film. I, and I, we love a foreign I film. I forget where it's from, though. Um, but yeah, I keep hearing it's really good. So if you've seen Fallen Leaves, let us know in the comments. Um, Margot Robbie, Barbie, uh, and Emma Stone, poor things. Wow. We what? Saw... <laughs> That's a musical or comedy? Okay. I guess. <laughs> yeah. Dark, dark comedy. Dark comedy. They're all like, even May, December is like a dark comedy, I'd say. So... Fallen Leaves, we're going to have to look into for mm -hmm. sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Drama. Are you Ooh, ready? Yes, we have. Of course, Bradley Cooper for Maestro. Leo DiCaprio for Killers. Coleman Domingo, Rustin, yes. Barry Keoghan. Yes. Saltburn. Oh, good we for are him. Saltburn fans. I know it's a very divisive mm -hmm. film, but we we really dug it. And we are big uh, Barry Keoghan fans. So yeah, since the Joker and Killer of a Sacred Deer. Killing of a Sacred Deer. And he's so good in Banshees of Anna Sharon. So right, we can't that was one of our that. favorites from last year. I forget. He's in a movie a year. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of Killian Murphy, his contemporary, Oppenheimer, Andrew Scott. All of us strangers. Is oh, that yeah. the new one? Or... Uh, yeah, that's the one with um Paul Mezcal. Okay, we just saw a trailer for that. Yep. Very cool. Okay. Best actor, musical or comedy. Mm -hmm. Nicholas Cage, <laughs> oh dream scenario. Here we go. Timothy Chalamet, Wonka, Matt Damon, Air, Paul Giamatti, the holdovers. Yes! Yes, 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 Joaquin yes, yes. Phoenix, ah! I didn't even see it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so sorry, wow. but like we Aww. Love this movie. We love Walking Phoenix in it. I'm so shocked. Bo is afraid. Joaquin. Oh my god. Okay, this is fucking awesome. Okay, I'm so sorry. I like, and I've been a while. And I'm not like reading these ahead of the time. I'm just kind of like reading, putting my eyes there, and I did not even see that coming. Okay. You're scrolling through this live. Okay. And one last one, Jeffrey Wright. Yes, very excited about that. But my Holy goodness, moly. that's the that's awesome. The first time I've seen it on a list. That is awesome. 
Oh, we have Best Supporting Actress, Emily Blunt for Oppenheimer. Very, yeah, she was great. Danielle Brooks, The Color Purple. Jodie Foster, Nyad, okay. Julianne Moore, May, December. Very Rosamund nice. Pike in Saltburn, The cool. Mother. Very cool. And Divine Joy Randolph for The Holdovers. So enjoyable. Yeah, that's I, none of these are, are really a surprise. Again, just, no. I guess, recognizing Saltburn. But now that I feel like... I feel like the gold, the, the Golden Globes, like the Hollywood Foreign Press, would probably like Saltburn more than the Academy here. So just because right. of, of Emerald Fennel being British, and I don't know, I just feel like that has something to do with it. <laughs> like I feel like Saltburn's Foreigners. probably going to get nominations at the um, BAFTAs. I wouldn't be surprised. I can see that happening. Yeah. Yeah, these uh, British people uh, love their artsy films. There they are. That May December. Aww. I just yeah, we just watched that recently, and it, it was really it's good. wild. Yeah, good little look into like what. 20, 30 years ago. Um, I forget. Are you next or am I next? I think I'm next. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm I'm, I'm not. Oh, you just read those. So, yeah, okay, I read I'm the next. women. You yeah, are going... I'm still like shocked about Joaquin Phoenix and Bo's Afraid. So <laughs> Shell shock. Yes. <laughs> Best supporting actor, Willem Dafoe, Poor Things. We just saw Poor Things last night and Willem Dafoe is really, really great in it. I, Such a patriarch. I don't think he's going to win, but it's really nice that he's being recognized here. Uh, Robert De Niro, Killers of the Flower Moon, everyone kind of knew that. Mm -hmm. Robert Downey Jr., we all kind of knew that for RPG. Oppenheimer. Ryan Gosling, another one for Barbie. And then Charles Melton Who's... might sw the... sweep it for Best He's Supporting the Actor. Boy. The yeah, the kid in May, Charles. December. Charles. He's really good. And lastly, Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo, poor things. He was really good in that, too. Mm, here we go. Best Director, Bradley Cooper, Maestro. Good. Greta Gerwig. Barbie. We all probably saw that. Yorgos Lantimos. Yes. Poor things. Yes. Christopher Nolan, Oppenheimer, Martin Scorsese, Killers, and Yay, 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 yay. Yes, 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 yes. I didn't know she was going to do it, but I'm glad she did because I. She's oh, in there. Yes, get that Oscar out right here. Mm -mm, mm. <laughs> She's not going to win, but like, my goodness, I want her to be nominated for Best Director for the she Oscars so it. badly. She's up there. Yes. Okay. Why not? Why not? <laughs> that was a nice little surprise too. Mm. Best screenplay. Okay. Barbie. We all kind of saw that one coming. Greta Gerwig and Noah Baumbach. Poor things. Tony McNa Na McNamara. 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 Thank you. <laughs> Thank goodness you're here. <laughs> He's much better at pronouncing things than I am. True. Uh, Oppenheimer, Christopher Nolan, Killers of the Flower Moon, Eric Roth, and Martin Scorsese. Past lives. Getting it in. And Anatomy of a Fall, just oh, Justine Clier and Arthur Ooh. Harari. I love that list. Yes. Okay. Really and nice. I yes. Whoever wins is going to be awesome. Wow. Right? Best original score. Who do we got? So oh, my goodness. Poor things. Jerskin Fendrix. The I feel music like, is so good. Do you think we should try to pronounce everyone's names or we should just go through, the, say the films? Yeah, maybe just the films. We'll just say the films, but oh, we, we love these all, all these people, <laughs> right, probably. Right, right. <laughs> we have Poor Things. We have Oppenheimer. The Boy and the Heron. The Zone of Interest, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, hands down. Oof. Yes. So good. Killers of the Flower Moon. That was also so powerful. This is a good category. Yeah, I feel like there's some scores that are missing that I really liked, but I can't think of them at the moment. I am, I'm really surprised I mean, they chose the Poor Thing score. That one was really out there, but I really liked it. Mm -hmm. This is awesome. What do we have? Original song. Yeah. Um... <laughs> Addicted to Romance by Bruce Springsteen. We mm. all love that one. <laughs> we all love that classic. <laughs> uh, Dance the Night by Mark Ronson. I, I don't know. Oh, that's for Barbie. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, She Came to Me is the movie. Okay. I don't know what that film is. So that's why I was confused. Yeah. So Dance the Night by is for Barbie. I'm Just Ken for Barbie. That's not a surprise. Yes. I really peaches, didn't think Peaches, peaches was going to get nominated. <laughs> I really cool. wanted to get nominated for the Oscars. So he just performed it again. He did? Yeah. Oh, he should. Even if it's not nominated, I want Jack Black to perform Peaches at the Oscars. Um, mm. Rustin. Oh, The Road to Freedom by Lenny Kravitz. That was uh, pretty yeah, good from Super Mario Brothers movie. Got that. Um, oh, no, that was from Peaches. Uh, what was I made for? By Billy Eilish oh, for Barbie. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. You're next, right? Yeah. Best animated film. We have Boy in the Heron. Elemental. Spider-Man. Across the Spider-Verse. Super not Mario surprised. Brothers movie. Suzume wish. Hmm. I feel like it's missed. There's it's missing. Like I know we wanted Ninja Turtles yeah. to get nominated, oh, but oh I'm sad it didn't. I feel like there's one other animated <clears throat> film though that's what do you got? You know, best picture, non-English language, anatomy of a fall, fantastic. Uh fall leaves, we keep hearing great things. Low Capitano. Maybe I Aya? 
IO. Okay. Yes. I'm not sure what that is. Past lives. That's interesting. That's a non-English language though. It's like 70%, well, maybe exactly. 65% English. That's weird. Okay. Um, Society of the Snow and the Zone of Interest. Which also has English. Yeah. I'm not really a, oh, <laughs> this is a new category, um, oh, by right. the way. We yeah. Cinematic and box office achievement in motion pictures. Barbie. <laughs> yeah, I made a billion dollars, wins so that's <laughs> Guardians three. Cool. John Wick four. Okay. Mission Impossible five, six. Uh, part one. Yeah. <laughs> Oppenheimer, Spider Man, nice. Super Mario Brothers movie, and Taylor Swift. Wow. The concert film. Wow. I I mean I would personally All give it to Guardians achieved. of the Galaxy Volume Three just because I'm biased. It but... made a lot of money for Marvel last year. Yeah, year. or Spider Man too. Spider Man well. really did well. Uh, even being like you know kind of an indie. So that's it, it looks like. Yeah, so we're wow. not going to do TV. We love all the TV categories as well. Mm -hmm. And we'll get more into that like when we do the live stream for Golden Globes. But this is really awesome. I can't believe I it. it. Joaquin I'm, Phoenix, what was afraid? One of my favorite films. That and Anatomy of a Fall. Yes, Plus and Past, past Lives. lives. Oh, yeah, and a little sulfur in love. Loved it. So Thank you for having me on. Great, yeah. And it's again, sweet. we might have epiphanies later on in the day and be like, oh, wait, why didn't it nominate that? But right. I mean... Just as far, it's early in the morning. We're having our coffee. <laughs> so this is a yeah. really Christmas morning. Just let us know in the comments what we <laughs> forgot to even think about. Well, thank you all for stopping by and uh, happy award season. Peace out.